Dear friends, join the Irish province of the Institute of Christ the King's Sovereign Priests from the 11th to 19th of March for the Novena to St. Joseph. We pray for families, for fathers, for priestly vocations, and especially during these difficult times for the Church. And we also pray for the success of the restoration of our Church in Belfast, the Church of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Please donate at this GoFundMe link. Thank you for your generosity. Day 1 of the Divina, we meditate on the purity of Saint Joseph. First point, I will honor the purity of Saint Joseph. Jesus, the epitome of holiness and the source of all purity, takes pleasure in the innocence represented by the whiteness of lilies. He desired his holy mother to be a virgin, chose a virgin to announce him to his people, and favored a virgin disciple with his dearest blessings. Thus it was fitting that the fortunate mortal chosen to serve as his foster father should also be a virgin, his soul adorned with virtues that complemented his purity like a lily in full bloom. Imagine the purity of heart possessed by Saint Joseph, who had the privilege of caring for the child Jesus, and whom Mary deemed worthy of her love and trust. If his purity was already remarkable before being united with the son and the mother in such intimate bonds, imagine the immense growth it must have experienced throughout his life with them. This holy patriarch then appears venerable to me, radiating the most beautiful and lovely virtues in such brilliance. Second point, I will imitate the purity of Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph is a companion to those with pure souls. If I desire to earn his special protection and graces, I must diligently nurture the virtues so cherished by him. I must carefully guard my thoughts, restrain the unruly flights of my imagination, and govern the movements of my heart to preserve the delicate flower of innocence which can be tarnished by the slightest breeze. Alongside this inner vigilance, I must also be meticulous in guarding and mortifying my senses in all things. Great Saint, my powerful protector, assist me in embracing these measures, even though they may go against my natural inclinations. Allow me to experience the joys reserved for the pure in heart. Draw me with the irresistible allure of this most beautiful virtue towards the practice of penance which is inseparable from it. Grant me the grace to fully comprehend that the lily of purity can only flourish amidst thorns. Resolutions I will pay homage to him with my respect, love and trust. I will ask St. Joseph to instill in me the spirit of vigilance, prayer and self-discipline, and to obtain for me all the graces necessary to keep the precious treasure of purity untainted in my heart. I will diligently safeguard my senses, thoughts and emotions to protect purity. I will curb my curiosity and resist any inclinations that could jeopardize this precious virtue. O oh, Saint Joseph, Lily of Purity, thou art worthy of the tenderness that Jesus and Mary had for thee. Prayer to Saint Joseph by Saint Francis de Sales Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of Mary, grant us we beseech thee thy paternal protection through the heart of Jesus Christ. O thou whose infinite power reaches out to all our needs, rendering possible for us that which is impossible, look upon the concerns of thy children with fatherly countenance. In the troubles and sorrows that afflict us, we have confident recourse to thee. Deign to take under thy loving protection this important and difficult endeavor, the cause of our worries, and dispose its success to the glory of God and to the benefit of his faithful servants. Amen. Go to Joseph. Please help us restore our church in Belfast. Go to this GoFundMe link. Thank you for your generosity.